Sequels. A word that is common among most cultures with video games, live action television series, and numerous other mediums almost always getting another season or spin-off series. Even in the West, animation generally runs for much longer than it usually does compared to an anime's general episode count. So when any anime is confirmed for another season, it almost always is received with mixed reception. Something getting a second season you would think would be praised that an anime gets more since anime at the core is more times than not made to boost the source material's sales. Most modern day anime are adapted from an ongoing manga, light novel, or other work, so they make 12 to 24 episodes on average and then move on to their next project. The people who watch the anime will want more and buy the original source material while supporting the anime season so both parties generally will profit. After that, by the time more material is there to adapt, the studio has moved on to their next big project. So why continue three to four years later on an old property when the next big anime could be adapted for more money? So something getting a second or third season you would think would be filled with praise, and for the most part it is, but there's always those on the sidelines saying, the series is being melted. The number of times that I've heard that when there has only been 24 episodes for a show and a handful of OVA specials is absolutely absurd. But there is something else that has recently been happening. Arguably, most would say things like Code Geass and Eureka 7 are a concluded series, yet they, like many shows, have been confirmed to be returning with either another anime season or series of movies. And this is like the good old-fashioned Hollywood reboot sequel hatred is where a new type of hate is born. See, there is this mindset many share that when something has ended, or it's something they feel like will be ruined if they make more of, and it's this evil thing that must not ever happen. Look at the Ghostbusters remake to any Disney remake as of late. But people still go and see them and they make more money. Some more than others, but at the core the business model has proven itself enough that they keep making more, as that is the point of any business, to make money. The anime industry is no exception. People will be saying, yes, if I love this old anime or movie, if a new one comes out, then I have every right to be outraged if they ruin my childhood or whatever else you want to say. But that isn't the case. Sure, you can be upset or disappointed by a bad sequel or movie, but the original series still exists. Code Geass is arguably one of the most conclusive series in anime. However, the groundwork for a character returning and possibly bringing them back for another series was laid out in the second season. And despite having 50 episodes, that isn't a lot of episodes compared to how many shows in the West get 8 seasons or hundreds of animated episodes. Despite it having a great ending, there is always more to do in these worlds unless the world is completely destroyed. New conflict can arise, new threats, nothing stays happily ever after, forever. Kogias may crash and burn, but does that really take away from the fact that season 2 ended well? For me, it doesn't. I expect great things with the third season, from everything I've read up to it to what I've seen, I'm very optimistic about it. But even if it is the worst anime I have ever seen, I might rant, but I have seasons 1 and 2. I already have an ending. If it sucks just because they made more, why does that have to ruin my experience? Look at Eureka 7 fans. They don't acknowledge the second series to it, but they still love the first. And the prequel movie trilogy is something a lot will be cautious with, but even if that sucks, they still have the original anime they know and love. For every medium, I always see this. Praise something a mass amount love is returning for more, as yeah, we always have new anime, but we always will have our favorite characters, and seeing more of them is always a fun experience, at least for most. Then the other side of this that thinks it's milking a series, doing this only for money, ruining my favorite anime. Everything is about making money at the end of the day. Sure, some will have a passion, and others will only be about the money. It doesn't mean both sides can't make a good story. And if it is such a big deal, simply don't watch it. But if you love the originals, why not try the new one. It's not like it will taint the old seasons. Hell, even if they come out and shoot the main character in the head in the first episode and you hate it, the great thing about a fictional medium, despite the work being created by another, you can choose where it ends for yourself. My favorite anime of all time is Toradora. I don't think it ever needs more episodes. It concluded everything it needed to. But if they were to come out and say if season 2 was going to happen, I would think, well, I don't need it for myself, but let's give it a go. They could do the route of the characters in college or just adult life, and it could easily be great. They could break up the characters who ended up together in the first season, and I sure would be angry it happened, but I just loved the first season and not the second while washing it away from my mind the exact same way Eureka 7 fans do. I recognize not all can do this, some take everything in the series to account for a series as a whole. A bad season 2 ruins a show for you, sure, and if that's the case just don't watch the new content so it can't be ruined for yourself. But for those who can accept you have the ability to dictate what you enjoy, try the new content, the new season, the new movie, and if it sucks, stick to the old seasons 
only. Anime is a very interesting medium, one that doesn't get many episodes or seasons, that isn't a conclusive medium for stories more times than not, and one that you usually don't get to spend a lot of times with characters compared to series over here in North America. So bringing back old favorites for good or bad reasons, I usually get excited for. Worst case, it sucks and I move on and forget about it. Best case, more of the greatness I love. Anime is made for money. Manga is made for money. Everything is made for a profit, but passion can be there as well. It's why we all have a job to make money and live, but it doesn't mean you can't enjoy what you do. And it doesn't mean someone solely driven by money can't make a good product, it happens all the time. 2017 has confirmed a lot of returning shows for this year and the upcoming year, some of which that haven't seen the light of day in years, or some that we just thought would never happen. Good or bad, the industry is one that doesn't give sequels to many anime. And if so, season 2s are usually the best we get. I think it's important to embrace returning series no matter how concluded the series may be to you. Because like mentioned, unless the world was destroyed in the anime, a new conflict, a new story arc is always possible. And if it ends up sucking, we'll make some cash money and rant about it on YouTube, then wipe it away from your mind. It won't ruin a concluded anime if you don't let it. And this goes for any medium, including the notoriously hated Hollywood reboots. But that's all for this video, I'd love to hear everyone's thoughts on this topic. Maybe you'll completely disagree with me or maybe most will agree. At the end of the day, I love hearing everyone's thoughts. Before you leave, please be sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow my Twitter for many random thoughts, and if you want to go the extra mile and receive perks like knowledge of upcoming anime projects, or even early access on videos like this one, consider checking out my Patreon. So until next time everyone, please take care and have a good one.